Hello, my name is Kevin Gilmore with the Nash Weather Service New Orleans Baton Rouge office located in Slido, Louisiana. This is your weekly weather briefing for Thursday, March 25th. Starting off with a situation overview with some good news. The risk of severe weather is over tonight. Otherwise, expect some muggy and humid conditions with some mild temperatures, but we'll be seeing mostly dry conditions all night tonight. Otherwise, we'll be seeing some dense fog around coastal areas and within marine zones close to shore. Many rivers remain in flood stage, but we're going to talk about that in detail coming up soon. Next rain and storm chances is going to look like it's going to be on Sunday. Uh, dry beyond that to early next week with another system possible on the horizon by around midweek. First, let's talk the, about a past 24-hour overview of what we saw on radar today. Uh, we saw most of the storms were kind of scattered across the area, but generally speaking, some of the heavier storms and maybe some strong and some severe storms that prompted two, around two severe thunderstorm warnings up across uh, southwestern and southern Mississippi. Uh, those storms are a little bit further to our north, and but that's where all the severe weather is really confined to today for our area. But as you go more towards the south, we really didn't see that much rainfall at all across the south shore, just some scattered showers, a couple of uh, maybe rumbles of thunder. But generally speaking, most of the widespread rain today was along the north of I-1012. And as the sun set around evening, we saw all activity that diminished. And it's been that way ever since through this evening. Hazards that are in effect tonight include a marine dense fog advisory, as we just talked about, for the potential for fog around coastal locations. This includes the uh, Mississippi and Louisiana lakes and sounds, as well as near coastal locations of southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. Uh, this is going to be in effect until 10 a.m. Friday morning, and in these areas expect uh, reduced visibility to around one nautical mile or less, and difficulty in navigation through these areas. Now we're going to talk a lot about the rivers here because a lot of these rivers across our area has been in flood and we've had a few different changes here. So if any of these rivers pertain to where you are or affects where you live, uh, make sure to just pause the video so you can check the latest forecast. But we're going to go through each one of these individually here coming up, starting with uh, the Mississippi River, Red River Landing. It's currently in minor stage and will continue into minor stages. It continues here all the way through at least early April. Mississippi River at Baton Rouge, minor flood stage and will also continue into minor minor flood stage going up into early April. Pearl River near Bogalusa is currently a minor stage, in, but it's climbing with the current forecast getting into around 20 to 20.5 feet, but remaining in minor stage. Pearl River near Pearl River also remaining a minor stage. will continue to uh, flatline a little bit, then go up to around 16.5 coming up. Uh, West Hobolichedo Creek near McNeil is coming down and will be falling below minor stage very shortly, possibly as early as tonight to early tomorrow. East Hobolichedo Creek near Caesar is also coming down and is forecast to come out of minor stage. Bogachedo River near Bush is slowly climbing and is expected to hit right at minor flood stage coming up very shortly in the next uh, day or two. Bogachedo River, River near Tyler Town. This is one that actually was uh, newly upgraded just about an hour ago with a new fl uh, river flood warning. Now, with the uh, as we see the trends are continuing to climb, we're expecting this now go into moderate flood stage. For right now, we're expecting a crest at 17.5 feet. Again, that's the Bogachita River near Tyler Town. It's expected to hit moderate flood stage. The Tangipo River at Robert. Uh, it's been showing a little fluctuations, but we'll still see it around in the minor flood stage uh, category. And same with the Biloxi River near Lyman. Uh, still some fluctuations in the minor stage, but it is still forecast to come down. And the Wolf River near Gulfport. Uh, some fluctuations currently, but a crest around 10.5 is expected before coming down. Pascagoula River near Grand Ferry is going to be slowly increasing. It's just above minor stage and will remain uh, right around the, just above 16 feet for at least through the weekend until early next week. So that's the rivers. And let's talk about that extended forecast about those next rain chances coming up. We'll see some pleasant conditions tomorrow, maybe partly the mostly cloudy skies and very warm with temperatures uh, getting close to the 80s, uh, getting around the upper 70s. However, by Saturday, we may see some isolated showers increasing across the area, but generally speaking, the next real chance for rain is going to be on Sunday, where we have the potential for some isolated showers and even some thunderstorms. Uh, the good news here is that looking at some of the model guidance tonight, we're not really anticipating a widespread significant severe weather episode with this system. Uh, some of the severe weather ingredients are just not there. We don't re have, really have that good shear that we really need for uh, organized severe weather. However, we can't rule out some thunderstorms or maybe even a possible strong thunderstorm. We'll just make sure to really keep a close eye on that. But beyond that, when this, fr uh, this system and associated cold front does push through, we dry out early next week, possibly Monday into Tuesday, before yet even another storm 
storm system comes in on Wednesday. And you see this is generally the same too going across for other locations. Earlier I was showing you here Baton Rouge and New Orleans and for here I'm showing you Gulfport and Macomb, Mississippi. Really it's the same thing. Just uh, make sure you have that umbrella handy on Sunday and also on Wednesday. And generally speaking, very nice warm and mild conditions. Even overnight it's not going to be too chilly across the area. Just watch for those two days for the potential of some, uh, of some rainfall. Summer, what we just talked about, the risk of severe weather is over, which is fantastic news. And it's just going to be muggy and humid tonight with just mild temperatures and staying dry. Watch for dense fog around coastal areas, uh, especially marine zones near uh, the lakes and sounds, uh, close to near shore areas. Uh, many rivers, as we just talked about, remain in flood stage. And we'll see the next chances of rain on Sunday and possibly to the middle part of next week. And that ends this uh, briefing, and I hope you have a great rest of your week and a great weekend.